five at five. Gosh, that was a rushed, rushed 30 minutes getting ready. Hi. Let's see who's joining in. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Tearing round. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Annette. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've just been tearing round because... um. I've got a social on tomorrow and um, my kids have just come back from grandparents so I want to get straight home after the live to see them. Um, so I can't afford to be at work any longer than I need to be um, but because I've got the social on I really needed to tidy up and get everything ready so I've been running around with the hoover and the duster. <laughs> then quickly made a cup of tea and then I couldn't find the tripod, my camera wasn't charged, it was all, yeah we're here now, we're all good. <laughs> Oh, it really does go that way sometimes, doesn't it? How is everybody today? Are we good? I'm hoping that the camera battery for YouTube lasts. If it cuts off, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, there's a few of you joining in. Hey, Susie, you're looking forward to coming sewing tomorrow. <laughs> what are you going to be working on? If anybody is um, local and wants to come to sewing tomorrow, there's still a few spots on the morning session. The afternoon's almost booked out. I think there's just one place left, which I'll be happy to take. <laughs> Okie dog. So, I have a pile of new fabric in front of me. It's arrived um, from last week. I was waiting for a delivery and it's finally come. So that's very exciting. Um, and I've been busy popping these onto the website this afternoon for you, so they're ready to look at. Afternoon from Kent. I always make you want a cup of tea. Well, we love tea. Tea is life. Tea is trademark. Um, <laughs> a few people have been to the shop recently um, and asked if I have these mugs for sale, which absolutely cracked me up. Would you buy one? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I might get some done for Harrogate. <laughs> Um, you have no idea what you're and you're not prepped. Excellent, Susie. I'm glad I'm not on my own. <laughs> okay, so tea and sweatshirts because it's that time of year, isn't it? It's getting chilly now, and everybody's thinking about those warmer makes for the cooler weather. So I'm gonna put the tea somewhere safe ish, it's anywhere safe from me, probably not. So I've got these gorgeous soft sweatshirts and it's times like this where I wish I could convey just how soft these are. They're very, very silky soft, very touchable, very strokeable, lovely. Um, floral prints, quite a medium sized floral, I would say. Um, so it's not ditzy, it's not cutesy, but it's not huge either. So I'll hold that up so you can get a kind of fact we'll put it this way around so you can get an idea for scale against a person because I know you all like to see a bit of scale <laughs> there we go and these are a soft sweatshirt so it's not a French terry they don't have the looped back as such they've got the soft very fine brushed back so they come in around 225 um, GSM, which probably means nothing to you, and it doesn't mean a great deal to me either. <laughs> I always think fabric weights are just confusing. They don't really represent that much, in my opinion. Um, but they're not thick like the full-on traditional sweatshirts, what I would call, <laughs> this sounds really bad, a fruit of the loom sweatshirt. They're not that thick. But they're also not as fine as a t-shirt so somewhere nice and in between um i've sewn quite a bit with these they're ideal for things like um sweatshirts and hoodies um i think the first thing i ever made with one of these was um the brooklyn hoodie by sb sbcc patterns it was called that i don't even know if that pattern company's still around does anybody know they were called skinny bitch curvy chick <laughs> if I remember, which I think in today's thinking is probably not very nice, but they did a great hoodie and um, yeah, I made it in one of these, not this print, but this weight of fabric. Um, things like the Tilly and the Buttons, uh, Billy, absolutely ideal, your Cashmerette Stanton would be another great one, um, Chalk and Notch Page hoodie, 
Lords, basically anything. Cardigans as well, great for things like the Marlow or the Blackwood. They're just dead, dead useful, dead wearable and beautifully soft. So yes, that is the Olive colourway. You can see we've got a bit of stretch on the go there. And a pocket down here. And then we've also got this beautiful periwinkle shade because it does say navy and I guess that's because the base is navy but I think that the blue on these flowers is I think it's a little bit purpley it's definitely got a lilac touch to it so that's the blue something for everyone here and this is the claret kind of wine color like a burgundy so that matches my dress quite nicely <laughs> <laughs> okay so what do we think to those tell me which your favorite color is don't be shy get in the comments let's hear it <laughs> but I really really like these but I, I really wish I could tell you just how snuggly soft they are there we go okie doke so I'm gonna pop that over there and I'm gonna check in and see what you're all chatting about hi Carol oh you finished your blackboard in the gray cable knit <laughs> excellent that's lovely right fabulous okay so speaking of cable knits just bear with me one second I knew there was something I forgot to get off the shelf right <laughs> so I finally managed to find some new colors in the cable knit um, and again, oh, Burgundy's getting a lot of votes. So, <laughs> so they might please you to see some Burgundy cable knit. Um, so I've got a couple more colours here. And I found that another one of my suppliers is now doing cable knits as well. So hopefully in the coming weeks, probably by the time we go to the Harrogate show, we'll have some more colours then as well to choose from. So because the grey lasted a few days before it went out of stock so again we've got that very familiar design there just a lovely deep classic shade a bit like my pinafore that i'm wearing um i got really obsessed by burgundy last year um i ended up i made this pinafore that i'm wearing and then i made a dress probably see me in it like a burgundy floral um and then I ended up buying a coat, a waterproof coat that was burgundy. <laughs> and then I ended up buying a handbag that was burgundy. It just got a little bit out of hand. But I would quite like a pair of burgundy Doc Martens. But, um, yeah, I can't afford that right now. But I'm always on the fence about Docs. They look great on other people, but I always feel like they'd be a little bit chunky on me. So I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Right. And we have petrol blue, just beautiful. One of my favorite all time colors ever. But you can see it's very silky. It's got a nice soft drape to it. I'm a big fan of this. In fact, I nearly put a cable knit dress on today. I might wear it tomorrow. So there we go. So that's teal and burgundy in the cable knits. I will get the gray back in and we'll see if we can get a couple more colors as well because they always do well. Just a great one for building out your wardrobe. Oh, I feel like we're hitting this at pace. <laughs> it's kind of what happens when you've been rushing though, isn't it? You're like, you're rushing. And then when you come to start the thing you were rushing to, you start rushing that too. So just need to like slow down and chill out. <laughs> yep, yeah, everyone loves burgundy. <laughs> Fabulous. Hi, Barbara. Happy God. Okie doke. We'll just talk about some restocks for a moment before we touch on a few new fabrics. Um, the, what are they called? <laughs> Baby cards are back in stock. Gosh, I just noticed that there's all sorts of fluff in the top of my cup of tea. <laughs> that is fabric shop life for you. Do you need more? Yeah, you do need more black ones, but they're so wearable, aren't they? I mean, I made... A blackwood cardigan in the pale grey cable knit which I showed Carol when she came to the shop and it just I just leave it here I just leave it on a hanger and then if I'm chilly I just slip it on it goes with everything super comfy got pockets in it 
it's always full of shop keys and <laughs> rubbish so yep so the baby cards are back and I'm just going to quickly pop these off the shelf and show you um, this is the ochre I think we've touched on this one before I've got a little bit of wine left but as you can see from a full 12 meter bolt that's gone down <laughs> to practically nothing um, some of the terracotta left but again not much and the moss I love this really love that green so they are back if you were waiting for those to come back in stock they are there and eight whale card is also back in stock I am wearing the eight whale card today it's a little bit thicker obviously than the baby card the ribs are a bit bigger um more of a medium weight so great for um pinafores and sort of more structured skirts trousers that kind of thing um, we've got this lovely royal purple colourway. Just put three metres of that in an order today, actually. Um, there's, oh, that's going to fall over. <laughs> we've got a full roll of navy blue, just there. Obviously the wine, which <laughs> here's one I prepared earlier. And um, this is the black. In case anybody asks, this is um, it's the Olive Pinafar from the Tilly and the Buttons book. <laughs> I've just seen somebody asking that as well, so there you go. Right, let's see. What are we saying? Would the lovely cable knits be good for jumpers with a band on the bottom? Yes, 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 they would. <laughs> they would. Um, I've made a cocoa dress out of the cable knit, which worked out really, really well. Um, and I, what else did I make? I think I made a new look dress a few years ago now and somebody actually bought it off me on the market. They, they just really wanted to buy the sample so and it was a little bit big for me so yeah I'll let them buy it but I put the band on and the black wood has the band on as well and that actually has a neck band. Um, the only thing I would say is that quite often your band piece is shorter than um, I'll get the fabric, this might make more sense. So usually the waistband piece on a jumper is shorter than the bottom of the, of the actual sweater itself. And the purpose of that is to nip it in at the bottom to sort of bring it in. So if that is the case, I would consider actually cutting the band the opposite way because the issue that I had was then I couldn't line up the cables like pattern wise you might not be bothered or you might choose a place where you want to fit it to and then kind of let the rest go out but it, it makes a nice feature put it that way so I've seen lots of people cut that in the opposite direction just as a little feature around the bottom so something to think about but yeah absolutely fine to make a sweater out of them um but yeah saw how seven perfect for the toaster sweater god we love the toaster sweater don't we Yep, everyone's made a billy. <laughs> Great stuff. I'm hoping that we might put on a billy workshop soon. I'm waiting to try and organise a date with lovely Kim, who's teaching for us. So that will be fab to see some billies coming into action. Okay. Let's talk jersey. So I'll have my fluffy cup of tea. I think... I think YouTube's on an angle, <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's going downhill, <laughs> but you know we're not um, we're not that professional. Oh, Carolyn says that the South Bank sweater dress works in cable fabric. It does. Yes. Gosh, remember making that all those years ago? Do you remember? Had that mustard. So all those years ago, it was about three years ago, not that long. Some mustard sweatshirt in with stars on. I remember that. Gosh. I really love with things like the toaster or the South Bank or the Billy sweater how they just come together so fast. Like I, I love that kind of, it's very gratifying to get a garment very quickly. <laughs> Especially after sewing something like that shirt dress that I've put in the shop window that's a lot of detail, a lot of top stitching, a lot of bits and pieces. It's, it's just dead nice to whiz something together, isn't it? I need a good jersey project. So. These are called um, 
winter woodland florals because they remind me of winter woodlands. Um, and there's two colourways in this one and it's a cotton jersey, so 95 cotton to 5% elastin. Um, it's part of the poppy range of designs which are incredibly popular. Um, you can see we've got a bit of stretch there and I'm going to lift that print up for you to look at. Very, very nice. <laughs> so this is the forest colourway which is a deep green, um, which I think is very nice for autumn crossing into winter. I think it's got a kind of low-key festive look to it, this. It's like a little bit Christmassy without being a Christmas fabric, <laughs> if, that, um, if that makes any sense, which I think is nice. So it makes some nice seasonal things. I think this would look lovely like under this pinafore, you know, as a layering piece. Say if you were making um, pinafore dresses like um, the Clio or Waves and Wild want do one, don't they? Is it the Penny Pinny? That's a popular one too. Those sorts of dresses are like this one where you can put a t-shirt underneath. At the minute, I've got a massive shortage of things like that. I seem to only have this blouse that goes with this dress, so I need a few basics. So this will be perfect. And this is the berry colourway, which is a lovely burgundy kind of purple shade. Um, yeah, nice. What do you think to that one? Again, I feel like it's got a slightly wintry, Christmassy look. Let's see what we're saying. Hi, Emma. Are those jerseys suitable for the sew over it, Estelle? Um, yes, I don't see why not. I think Estelle is probably best made up in a viscose jersey, in my personal opinion, just because you get the drape with the viscose. And when you're bringing it into that tie, viscose jersey just, it's much more fluid. However, that's not to say that cotton wouldn't work. It's fine, you just get a different... A very slightly different result but they would be lovely and very comfy <laughs> i want to make another estelle it's like a really fast make you've got your pink onion fabric good somebody took some more of that yesterday so it is selling lovely i hope you like it does it have a direction to the pattern or is it random oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> do you ever take your fabric home or look at it in the shop and spend ages trying to work out which way it's running because I do sit here for ages like is that directional and I keep thinking it's something that I should add to the to the product listings as a is this directional question <laughs> would that be helpful if we start adding if it's got a direction on you have to let me know um do we think this is directional I think it is because these flowers here are going up but that being said <laughs> I'm not the most fussy on pattern matching so if I determine that a fabric is directional but is busy sometimes I won't take any notice of that. It depends what you're doing with it really doesn't it? So, so yeah. Is the pink one on a black background? The jersey, this one, no, um, it's burgundy. If I get it close, it's like a deep kind of wine burgundy. Right, I gave myself a job there, didn't I? Now I'll have to go and have to start adding directional things to, to fabrics. But yeah, that's something we can look to add in the future. Okay, does that help? Smashing. Pop these down here out of the way and I can't leave things a mess tomorrow because we've got people in in the morning things have to be tidy right so the last of the new lines unless you want to see hessian but I'm sure you all know what hessian is <laughs> I keep getting asked for hessian for people doing Christmas crafts when they come in so hopefully now that I've got it they'll buy it <laughs> tends to be what happens people ask for things all the time and then when I finally get it in it doesn't sell <laughs> such is life mm. very good right 
So, two colorways in this beauty. And this is really unusual. It's a jersey and it has a vertical stripe. And I'm kind of hoping that the color comes up nicely on here and doesn't look too dull. But this is a camel colorway. Um, it's a polyester jersey and it's brushed. So it feels, it feels like Winciette. It feels like a flannel. It's exceptionally soft and well, you can see how I'm just, <laughs> just need to be touching it. Everybody that's come in has gone, ooh, this week. Um, it's got about 10% spandex or elastane in it I can't remember which doesn't tell me on the end but so it's got a really good stretch um the first thing that I think of when I look at these is loungewear and comfies just comfy stuff these in a pair of just slouchy joggers or a, a nice loose top just for sitting around at home even like a dressing gown would be lovely or they make lovely fine layers so again we were talking about things like the billy or maybe just a long sleeve t-shirt or like a <laughs> like a turtleneck sweater that kind of thing lovely the kind of the light enough that they are like a t-shirt weight but a bit thicker than a regular cotton jersey if that makes any sense but i'm just going to show you again that stripe it looks a little bit like corduroy. It looks like it's ribbed, but it's not. There's no actual channel in there. It doesn't actually drop in. It's it's almost like a pinstripe. So really, really nice. The kind of one of those, you have to see it to appreciate it things. And when I was taking pictures earlier today, I thought there's no way that I can take pictures that really kind of capture what it's like so i'm hoping that by looking at it on here you get that idea but it's so soft <laughs> but yeah brushed and snuggly that's the camel and then we've got it again here in rose in a nice pink it does come in some other colors which but i thought well we'll just try one or two to start with one or two sort of classic colors and we'll see how we get on it would make a lovely cardigan I like a long line just something waterfallish, something throw on, just keep you warm. Very, very nice. So, to see, I'm not even showing you, I'm just playing with it. <laughs> so, there's your stripes there, and that's your rosy pink colour. I don't feel like this week's manicure goes with the fabrics as well as the red ones did. I have to think again next time I get my nails done. <laughs> so, um, let me know what you think you would make with those. I'm pretty obsessed, to be honest. It does remind me of those loungewear sets that you see in the shops. So, um, yeah, I like. And they're really, really wide. I think they're something like 170 centimetres wide, which is a good... If 150 centimetres is 60 inches, that's another 20 centimetres, which is like another 8 inches, isn't it? So... So yeah, very wide. So, unusual. Also awkward, because they won't fit on the shelf when they're that wide. Rude. Okie doke. So. Good stuff. Annette likes the camel. Good, good stuff. Right, so, special request from Annette this evening is to see some spackly fabrics for party season coming up. And I know there was one in particular you wanted to look at, Annette, but I had a quick scan of the shelves and found a few sparkles. Um, who's going to a Christmas party? Have we got Christmas parties planned? I've got, I've got a meal with some mum friends and that's about it really. Sort of, don't to get too glam. But I do have a sequin dress that I made from a couple of years ago. Oh, I've got some sequins. If you want to see the sequins, let me know. Anyway, I think this is the one that Annette wanted to see, and this is the Sparkle Flock Stretch Velvet. Now, this is unusual. <laughs> it is semi-sheer, so you can see me through it. So you'd want to line that on the main body, unless, unless you're Britney Spears, you know, like, and you can carry it off. But <laughs> a little bit Britney obsessed this week. <laughs> um... Yeah, 
<laughs> where was I? Um, yeah, so slightly sheer and it's almost, it's almost like a leopard print, if you can see there. Um, and these, I'm hoping I can show this to you, these little areas on it are raised, they are like a, a fluffy, velvety kind of, <laughs> I'm not explaining this well. Do you get the gist? <laughs> um, and they've got a little bit of silver in as well. It's very soft. It's got an excellent drape. So even just a statement sleeve in this would be lovely. Or you could make an entire garment and just wear a slip underneath. I think it's got a lot of potential. Because it, lining it could, it could take away from it a little bit, couldn't it? It could dull it down. So, so yeah, but it's got a lovely drape to it. It's, it's rather unusual. So I think for a special occasion dress, that's fab. And in fact, in the new... One sec. Just disappearing off camera like a true professional. I think in the new Simplicity book, we were thinking about stretch velvets. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So I would say that that's far stretch. So that's the Sparkle Flock. Um, also, this one was relatively recent. I am a bit of a magpie, so if it's got a sparkle on it, I tend to get it. This is the Party Sparkle Knit. How imaginative. This is not sheer. It feels more like the kind of a weight of a Ponte Roma. Um, and it has this design on it and you can really see that sort of shimmer in there can't you very very nice indeed um, it's got a good stretch in fact it's two way that stretch it's stretching vertically almost as well as horizontally so yeah maybe in that pattern that I just showed you that would be really glam um, and you've got I'll just show you the little texture up close there so that's Another good one. Got a touch of this one left. I think there'll be a couple of meters on here. And this is a rose print Lurex stretch. I love this. So I like rose prints, so. This is a bit of me. There's got a lot more fluff in my tea now. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'll show you that there. Really, really nice. It's got a great, a really great stretch to it. <laughs> very stretchy but great for those sort of figure hugging things um this one's like pinky on the inside so this would be nice just for sort of bodycon style dresses but yeah very nice and i think you can see there is a subtle amount of shimmer on the go there and finally i've still got a little bit of this this is the golden fine sweater knit and it is exactly what it says on the tin. Look at that! Fabulous. That's just so much fun. Um, and this one is... Oh, hi! Is that asthma? Hi! <laughs> Actual sewing bees. <laughs> um, you can see how it's sheer. Can you see? So, again, you could get creative with that whole lining and... Not lining or which bits you want to line or leave out. I think that's very cool, but the drape on that is fabulous. It's just like liquid gold. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, we've got a Christmas wedding to go. What do you wear to a Christmas wedding? I've never been to a Christmas one. Sounds nice. Anyway, I hope that helps you in it. Um, would the black sparkle fabric I just showed work for the Estelle dress? Um which one the thicker one the one that was hi um if it was this one i would say not i would say it could be a little bit on the thick side i think with estelle with the ruching and the belt you want to keep it quite light um otherwise you could end up with it's just it's not got the drape i don't think yeah no i don't think i would Personally, I mean, it's not to say it wouldn't work, but I'd say it's closer to a ponty in its sort of weight and behaviour. So, yeah, I don't think I would. 
you could do it with the golden one, but it would be a bit see-through. You'd have to put something underneath. So, okie doke. So, I think we're about done. <laughs> and it's half past five, so that's pretty Hi everyone watching on YouTube. Um, I'm very sorry, but my camera battery ran out towards the end of that video. So I just wanted to pop on and say goodbye and say thank you for tuning in. Um, you really didn't miss anything extra, just me chatting away and saying goodbye. But thanks for joining in. If you do enjoy these videos, please do like and subscribe. And thank you for all of your lovely feedback. If you do have any suggestions or things you would like to see in future videos, please just pop them in the comments and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.